Welcome back everybody. It is time to lock down another Glyos toy review and I'm very excited about this one because we have a brand new line of Glyos figures that have just been introduced into the Glyos universe and we're talking about the Mischievers from Cappy Space. Now these little guys, and I say little, I mean little, these are no bigger than maybe your Nobutu size from Onel Designs and a little bit bigger than your actual Crayboothe size. They're going to be these little tiny boys. They look phenomenal. The molds look really cool and unique. We got the Belfries, we got the Fibians, we've got them in a couple different colorways as well. And once again, Glyos is just in another one of its little booms. These took the community by storm. Cappy was sold out within five minutes, I swear. I couldn't even get everything this time. There was one of the adventure kits that he had up on the store and that one sold out within like literally three minutes. I couldn't even check out and I checked out at 9.04. Star was nine o'clock, 9.04, half the store was gone and there was only a couple left. Needless to say, this one was a huge success for Cappy Space and it should be, it looks like it's gonna be a phenomenal little figure. I can't wait to review them and go over them with you guys. The package is in, I got a bunch of them. So let's a look at the brand new line of Glyos, the Mischievers. I'm gonna go get the packages, but make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content. Boom, we're here, and I forgot to mention as well, I got in those couple custom Glyos I was talking about in the last video, so let's check those out really quick. Whoop. All right, we got two bags, two figures. Let's pull out this one first. So check it out, completely custom figure. He's got this weird looking, like crazy looking beak lizard head thing going on. On one of these things, he's got some like little gradients going on on his skin as well. I love his claw. His claw looks incredible if you can catch that little nice detail on that thing. That could be a completely custom hand, it looks like. Some of the paint is peeling. We've got a nice little custom like backpack thing here, but the head itself is really neat. Overall, I think it's in decent shape. It's not the best shape, but this is the one that I wasn't sure about. I don't believe it's any custom core thing or anything like that. I, I just can't place it as of filming the video. I'm gonna continue to try to look, and if I have an actual name of an artist or who did it, I will put it up on screen. But as of right now, it's just a really cool piece, and I like it. I like getting these nice little kind of custom head ones and everything they look really neat and i think they did a good job with like the claw and stuff they should have done it on both hands honestly but even still i got this for pretty darn cheap so it was a nice little find on ebay let's pull out the other one and now this one i'm almost 100 percent sure is a nice stuff figure because it is another one of these banger cool looking jelly translucent color vibrancy whatever i don't even know gradient with one of these custom heads as well one of these crazy looking like weird bulbous kind of mutant heads it's pretty crazy looking actually but the the oh man the resin work from that green to the yellow Hopefully it's picking up decently on the camera since we got a yellow background today. It looks really sharp though. I mean, the head just looks really good too. Kind of brighten it up for us a little bit there so you can kind of check out the detail on the head and everything. There we go. We're starting to get it. Boom, bang. Look at how nice that looks though. It's going to go perfectly next to my other wonderful looking nice stuff piece here. Look at that. Oh man, it's going to look excellent on the shelf. And just like this one, they both came from the same seller and I was able to actually pick this guy up on bid for another reasonable price uh, so overall it was well worth it really really sharp really really cool figures hopefully the lighting's doing them justice but they look pretty dope all right but now we can get into the cappy space package the mischievers they're all in here let's get it opened up here you have to do it off camera because don't have enough room oh the classic cappy packaging with the nice little plastic bag type deal and the thank you sticker gotta love getting these packages in they're always fun oh here they are all of them right here another really cool thing that came with the mischievier collection was these adventure kits these are adventure kits they've got a bunch of little gear and stuff in them little gauntlet like armbands necklaces backpacks knives swords hammers you name it these are super incredible these ones right here are the gornar adventure kits i believe that's how you say it but they've got this nice little kind of gold and yellowy vibe to them we'll open up one of them here let's check it 
out. So there you go. There's a nice little backpack you can pop on anybody. We've also got like the little loincloth. Uh, this one might go to the backpack, I think. I think that pops onto the top of the backpack. We've also got these two really amazing necklaces. Let's just check out this one first as best we can. But check out the little detail on that. It's so nice. And then this is my favorite. It's a little cray booth on the little necklace. It's so awesome. I absolutely love the attention to detail on these kits. A couple little armband type things that can go on some wrists. A couple extra pegs. I don't know what this is for. This could be another attachment to the backpack. Oh, you know what this is? This is to hold the sword like on a back or something like that. Yep. That's it. There it is. Bang. Goes right on the sword. And here's the nice sword as well. Just a tiny little dinky dagger sword, but it looks great. And then we got this awesome, like, kind of anvil hammer type thing going on. Really sharp as well. They just have some nice, really good details to them. And I, we need more accessories like this in Goliath, you know? I love when people come out with stuff like that. It looks great. And now this kit is the only thing that is currently left from this wave or drop on his site, on Cappy Space's site. Uh, so if you want to pick up an adventure kit, this one is still available. He made a bunch of these. Now, the one he didn't make a bunch of, I guess, and the one that sold out in three minutes was this one. This is the Fire Adventure Kit. This nice kind of brown and gray, more natural color tones, basically, on it. Now, in the opening video, I said I couldn't get this one. It sold out before the order was placed, and that is correct. I ended up getting four of these other adventure kits, and I wasn't able to get this one. So I messaged Cappy on the side, and I I said, hey, I ordered four of the other ones. If at all you have any extra after everything's said and done, just swap out one of the kits for me. And he was very gracious to allow that to happen. So we've got the nice fire kit here. Only one of them because they were just so hard to get your hands on, I guess. But look at that. Look at that nice little... Oh, man. Did the other one have that? Oh, it did. I didn't even notice the back of that one. It's got like the little red eye on it. That's so nice. So again, it comes with these same types of things. We got our little weapons here. I showed off the backpack. We got the nice little other part of the backpack there. We got the loincloth thing. Yep. And we also have the mini cray booth necklace. Very nice. Armbands, armbands. Very good. Oh, I just dropped an armband. Uh-oh. Found a connector piece on the floor, but it's not the armband. And I just realized this entire time my microphone was just hanging off my phone and not actually on my shirt. There we go. It's a little closer to my mouth now. Uh, hopefully that doesn't sound too awful for the first five minutes. Gosh dang it. I can't find it. All right. I'm gonna have to look for it after I'm done filming. But those are the adventure kits. I think uh, you definitely should go grab these while they're still available on the Cappy Space site. There's a website. I'm gonna put it up at the end as well, but go check it out. Grab one of these nice little Glios accessories. Definitely worth it. And big shout out and thank you to Cappy for swapping out one of those and giving me that fire one. The one I was missing. Let's Let's go over the standard Vivian, the one that's already lost to the void, but here's the figure. This is how it comes, two little connector points to it and two heads. Again, small figure, very simple. But honestly, it looks so good. He did a great job with these. Gives you the Fibian head and it gives you the nice little bat kind of belfry head, I guess is what they're calling it. But we're going to throw on the Fibian head because that's how it's supposed to look uh, as, you know, the site says. And this is what we're dealing with. The little bulked out frog, Hulk-like, muscled out, bad boy creature. Super funny, super awesome looking. Uh, it's got you know, the up and down arms, and it's got movable wrists, I believe. Yes, movable wrists. Movable head, obviously, you can move that. And then it's got the nice little chest piece joint, twisty, and the legs, feet don't move. Let's get a Mangalore out here. You can kind of see the comparison between the two. There you go. That's kind of what we're looking at as far as size goes. And then to size it up even more, here is a Cray Booth. So you can see it's just a hair bigger than a Cray Booth. So it makes for another really kind of cool little thing if you're a fan of Cray booths, I'm sure you're going to love these guys. I mean, in comparison to a Mangalore, everything's going to look a little small. Let's get an armivore out here. Here, this is how he sizes up with an armivore. That's kind of where we're at with the sizes of these guys. Really, really sharp looking figure though. Absolutely digging this. We've got, you know, the little point on the back that's going to be available to throw on that backpack. I guess let's get him pimped out here a little bit, yeah? Here he is all pimped out with all the decorations on him from the adventure kit. We've got the loincloth. He's carrying the little Cray Booth charm. He's got the hammer ready to swing and he's got his nice backpack. 
sword goes right on the back here just like that wonderful looking piece i mean it just adds so much to these characters it's incredible like it just looks so cool with these little attachments and doohickeys he's like a little conan frog dude and it's just hits all the right things for me man it just is so good <laughs> <laughs> I love how this guy looks. Let's get his sword in his hand here. Let's get the hammer out, sword in. Now he can be really ready to go, ready to fight and defend his Crayboot charm or something. Whatever story you want to make up for these dudes, it'll fit. Does the hammer slide in there too? I think the hammer can. Yep, it can. All right, good. The hammer can slide right in the backpack as well if you want him to have the sword. Oh man, just look at how small he looks. Oh, that's so funny. And I did get two of these guys, so I'm actually going to pull this one out and put on the Belfry head so we can kind of show off how that head looks on the figure. There we go. There's a little bat sonar dude. I don't even know. He's like a little gremlin, goblin, bat mix smash thing he's amazing though i absolutely love this head on this figure it looks so good i love it that's the belfry head though it is sharp it is well done it's got this very cartoony polka dotted eyes with the big old mouth and teeth excellent excellent choice for this head swap option get the gear on this guy too and he'll be all set to go on the travels with the crew let's do another standard version this is the standard belfry as it would say so let's pop this one open i only got one of each of the red versions that they came out with because i just like the normal so much more and i was trying to save a, a few bucks that's very hard to do when it comes to glass especially when they come out with all this new stuff all the time there's the Fibian head in the nice red with yellow eyes. And there is the Belfry. Look at that. Nice, sharp, clean red design. Very, very, very cool. I love the look of the red one. We've got another red one here too that I'm seeing out of the corner of my eye that looks very, very cool as well. Just to show off how cool these guys look, man. <sighs> They're so stellar. I'm going to get them all dressed up in their little adventure kits, I think. But we'll just dress up a few for now for the sake of this video. Just show off the main figures themselves. I wasn't done showing them off, though. Let's just go ahead and check them out one more time here. and Just see all the little details on this dude. Nice muscle definition. Good molding. Really a fan of just the overall proportions of this guy. I think they did a solid job just figuring out how they wanted that back arch to be to the muscles to the biceps and everything to the shoulders and then that head it just looks so great you know what's going to look good on these guys too possibly even the biomaster heads might look really cool and unique on these little figures let's look at our other red figure this is the fire fibian this is kind of like a much brighter tone of red and it's got some kind of nice orange highlights on it there are the two heads you can see it is kind of like a brighter red in comparison we'll compare the two figures in just one second let's pop on the fibian head oh he's so cool i definitely should have bought two of these guys uh bummer i didn't but you know i had to save a few bucks but there's kind of like this nice it doesn't have it on this one it's got this like tattoo type thing uh, a little paint or something the nice orange but here's the comparison between the two red figures you can see this one is just way way brighter basically he's on fire he's on fire compared to like the toned down version of it still looks really dope though that's the biggest thing we've got kind of you can see underneath you got that same orange and then on the shoulders and the back you've got that kind of orange flare which looks really sharp and nice more tribal i guess you could say i love their squatty legs their squatty legs are just amazing oh they can do the run they can do kind of a run here that's perfect oh there we go there's some stances we're getting into the stances now i'm gonna get the adventure kit on this one there we go there we go all adventure kitted out we've got the fire adventure kit on this one because it just pairs well that nice black or brown on top of the red looks really good we've got the backpack with the sword in it we're gonna leave the hammer out on this one and i still never found that other bracelet so i'm gonna have to look again but i put the little craybu thing on his wrist instead for a nice little bracelet aesthetic very sharp very cool very nice very good bang 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 good one now we've got one more we've got the onyx fibian this one looks super super good we've got a nice black with a red kind of like a poisonous tree frog type style of a paint job there's the fibian head and where is the belfry head let's check out the belfry head that looks so good look at how cool that is man 
That is excellent. Don't worry, I got two of these guys, so we're gonna put the Fibian on this one and we'll put the Belfry on the other. Let's check it out. Look at that, man. The blue eyes look really sharp to contrast with that black. And then we got that nice yellow tattoo thing that we are seeing on the Fire Fibian, but on this black Onyx Fibian. This looks incredible. Again, it's given, you know, poisonous tree frog vibes and everything. And then you combine that with one of the adventure kits. He's gonna look phenomenal with that kind of extra contrast of yellow and orange. Really nice figure though, really sharp. Hopefully we're picking up the detail on all this black, but it looks really good. Really big fan of the Onyx one. I saw this one, I was like, oh boy. I'm going to be spending some more money than I thought I was going to be. Luckily, though, you know, they had caps. You can only get two each. So I went ahead and got two each of uh, most of the ones I wanted. And then I ended up putting some back, but that's okay. But let's check out the Belfry head. There we go. That's how he'll look on this Fibian creature. Very nice. The Onyx Belfry. I cannot wait to add some, like, crazier concepts with, like, I don't know, Kabuto Mushi stuff, Godby stuff. Get some, like, cool wings and claws added to this guy. I've already already seen a few inspirational pictures on Instagram of people already doing builds and they look really really cool like really really sharp looking builds with other pieces and their squatty stance and stuff really lends itself to bigger proportions that work for your other pieces of Glios I think. All right I'm gonna deck one of them out in the nice adventure kit. We're gonna do the bell free this time because we've done Fibians for the other ones. Bang this guy's gonna be dual wielding the sword and the hammer but look Look at how great that looks on the Onyx, man. Oh, that is a nice little piece. There we go. I got the Kray Booth thing on the back, the backpack, and we got the hammer. Ready to swing, ready to fight into battle. Our little goblin bat creature thing. Slicing and dicing. Looking sharp. Looking very, very cool. Absolutely love the look of that. Really cool, man. I love it. I love the details of all these accessories that it gives these figures. It gives them so much character. So much more life. Way to be creative, Cappy. I mean, really, just excellent work. And I know there was other people that helped on this as well. So to you guys, I tip my hat. Kudos to you. You guys did an excellent job working and putting this guy together. Looks really good. Here's one more look of all the mischievers. What do did you guys think of this drop in these new figures? Leave a comment down below if you're excited for more. If you thought they were so-so, tell me your thoughts. If you did enjoy these guys and the mischievers are right up your alley like they were mine, make sure to go support Cappy Space right up here. Links are in the description as well. Go follow him on socials and he will be posting updates soon. Hopefully he said he was going to be doing more different colorways very soon for these guys since there was such a huge success with the store and the drop. You're not going to want to miss those, but definitely go get an adventure kit while it's still there and keep your eyes peeled for more mischievers. Phenomenal job. 10 out of 10. These guys look so much fun. Can't wait to build with them. That is going to do it for today. I appreciate it if you watched all the way to the end of the video. Make sure to hit the like button if you haven't yet already. And if you enjoy this type of content, make sure once again to subscribe. Stay tuned for more Glio stuff. We're going to have more toy reviews coming really soon. It hasn't been announced yet, but I'm expecting Onel to do another drop very soon. If not this month, maybe in a couple weeks from now in the beginning of July. I can't wait to see what he's going to bring to the table. We've had so much since the last drop of his that I'm sure we're going to see some more crossovers and those are going to be really awesome to find out. I appreciate you guys and the support you guys have been giving. Have a great rest of your week and we will catch you guys in the next video. Just finished up filming and I realized that the microphone that I thought I didn't actually have clipped onto me and it wasn't picking up correctly, turns out I didn't even have it plugged in to the dang camera. So that's fun. Yeah.